Around a week ago, I took a trip to LA. I decided to spend my last day alone inspired by Emma Chamberlain. From Soul Cycle to Air One salads to berries and coffee, here's how it went. to my first soul cycle class ever. I literally suck at cardio workouts, so let's see how this goes. I'm so scared. But if Queen Emma does it, it must be a good workout and it must be effective because girls got a nice body. Okay, I definitely failed to give a good intro to this, but as I said, this was my first time taking a Soul Cycle class and it was so hard. I definitely didn't put my resistance as high as it should have been because I was just more going for endurance, but I was sweating so much by the end of this workout. <laughs> I just finished my first Soul Cycle class ever. It was treading pedals for an hour and a half. I was dying. I just got a protein smoothie as my breakfast, and now I'm gonna book an Uber. We're gonna go to Air One because I've never been to Air One, and that's like Emma Chamberlain's favorite grocery store, and we need to get her kale salad because I'm already hungry, and it's definitely time for lunch. supposed to be a super expensive supermarket like a ridiculous amount of money for example this is $36 I'm kidding I don't even know what that is but it's supposed to be super expensive and like people get like 13 things and it ends up being like a total of like $300 so I'm kind of excited I know I probably have stuff that like Canada doesn't so I'm gonna do some regular shopping see if there's anything that I want to bring home like tell me why this water for wellness is $20 this honestly looks so good they have everything like prepared for you you can make a meal plan so easily hotel room. Let me tell you guys, I am in LA. In LA. How random. I have never been to LA before, except for the time that I was like 10 and I went to Disneyland, but I feel like that doesn't really count. So this is technically my first time, and so far it's been really great, although I need to say that I have not vlogged. I have not vlogged, and this is why. I thought that this trip I would, I'll make better videos throughout the week rather than just making a huge combined vlog, which would also be fun, but then it like takes away from living in the moment. So anyways, I filmed that a few days ago and I was gonna vlog that day and I never ended up doing it, but then I gotta give you guys a haul of everything I got because I'm so excited. First of all, I got the Chamberlain coffee. This is like powder. I don't I don't even have a coffee machine right now, so I can't do that. But the Chamberlain coffee, it was I think $19, $20. So kind of expensive, but like it's probably good and it's also her, so don't mind. Next up, I had to get some strawberries. She always eats berries by like the box. If you don't know this of me, I'm obsessed with like chili and lime. So I saw both of these snacks and I had to get them. This is chili lime homemade kettle chips, Mexican street style potato chips. How delicious. And then I also got this Patagonia regenerated organic chili mango solar dried fruit. It looks like it would be really good, so I had to get both of those. And then the last thing I got was the classic kale with white bean salad. Emma Chamberlain raves about this all the time, so I'm so excited for this. And then I also got a yerba mate. I don't know if she drinks this, but this is like one of my favorite drinks. So I actually have lunch plans with somebody at 2 p.m. and it's currently 12, which means I have enough time to eat my lunch and shower, get ready, do all of the above. So first of all, let's go on my little balcony and do a taste test. I do want to give a little shout out to the hotel that I'm staying in. It's called La Park Suites. I've had the best experience here and also look at the art. Look at how funky it is. I feel like Emma Chamberlain would love it here, but I will give you guys a tour of it later, but I'm just saying it now just to put it out there. Booking link will be in the description. Let's go try our food. It looks so good. There's like avocado, beans in it. Mm -hmm. 
That is really good. So I only wish I could add chili flakes. But other than that, so delicious. And so fresh. <laughs> I'm back a few hours later and I just went to have lunch with my talent manager. I don't know if she's watching this, but that was a really good lunch. I just went to get sushi. I am back at my hotel. I brought my berries out and we're gonna have a little berries taste test. I'm just gonna chill. I don't really know what my plans are for the rest of the day. I might go thrifting. This is literally the hills. Every single house up here is insane. It's a sunny blue sky day and like the pool is so nice. Very good. Not just regular strawberries, Air One strawberries. So like they have to be good. So guys, okay, that's a terrible angle. Let me give you a quick recap of my trip since this is the basically only video that I have here. LA has been so fun so far. <laughs> I feel like half of what I've done this trip is gone to eat food. The restaurants that I've gone to, I've been to Catch LA, Katana's, Gracias Madre, that was vegan Mexican, really good. Sugar, fish, go in the juice, but that's like pretty basic. Boa Steakhouse, I think that's everything. And also, oh my God, guys, story time, I went to Saddle Ranch. If you don't know what Saddle Ranch is, I feel like it's the most basic LA restaurant where like all the influencers used to go and get paparazzi but apparently that's like not a thing anymore and like paparazzi never comes out, but like they used to go all the time, I guess, all these influencers. The other day when Rosina was with me, we were gonna go to Catch, but then we missed a reservation and literally everything else was closed like everything everything was closed the only thing that was open was saddle ranch until 2 a.m so we're like okay hey, i guess we're gonna go to saddle ranch and i'm wearing like a dress with like little diamonds on the neckline and everyone there is wearing flannels like literal just like country costumes and there's like a bowl in the middle and i'm in a dress rosina's wearing a blazer like we just did not fit in it was super unfortunate But it was a learning experience. It was funny. At least now I can say that I've been to Saddle Ranch. This is actually pretty good. I feel like I need to get into eating more fruit. <laughs> mm. I kind of love being alone. I feel like I'm pretty good. Actually, I don't really know. I think I'm good at being alone. I think. But who knows if I actually lived here, I would feel pretty lonely. I just like hanging out by myself. And sometimes it's more fun because there's no pressure, you know? You can just do whatever you want. And I kind of agree with Emma Chamberlain when she was talking about how being alone is better because it's like, say something doesn't go as planned, you can just be like, I'm okay with it, but if you're with someone else, they might be complaining and then it ruins your mood, whereas like, by yourself, you're just neutral. Nothing can affect you, really, unless you're affected by it yourself. Also, I feel like I've talked to a lot of strangers today. Not in a bad way, but as in like, I probably wouldn't if I was with somebody else. That has been pretty fun. It's also daylight savings, and it's probably gonna get dark soon, and I don't want to waste the day. So I'm thinking I need to go somewhere for the next hour, and I go to Venice. Venice? Santa Monica. Venice Beach. I want to go to Venice Beach. Oh my god! I'm missing the most important part of the day. We need to go to Phil's or Alfred's. Those are the two coffee shops that Emma Chamberlain goes to. I don't even really like coffee, and I feel like it's gonna make my stomach hurt, but I might just have to do it for the video. That could have been bad. I almost forgot the main portion of this video. dilemma ever i'm so dumb and i forgot my mask and i've just peeped my head into like five stores being like hey do you have an extra mask and everyone's like no sorry we just ran out i literally don't have a mask i can't go into alfred's i can't go into anything but i don't want to go all the way back home so i'm gonna keep doing this peeping my head into stores embarrassing myself being like do you have a mask this is humiliating <laughs> Anyways, while I've been walking looking for more places, I've seen that this neighborhood has a lot of cute stores. So we can definitely do some shopping once I get my coffee and my mask. I found a mask. Guess who I asked? Balmain. I thought they were gonna like shoot me out by me just asking for one, but they seem to be the nicest people. My phone 
is dead, which is a nightmare. So I need to find another coffee shop that has an outlet because there was literally no outlets in that one. But let's have a taste. I got an oat milk latte and I don't even really like lattes, so. It's really good. my humble little hotel. Let's ignore the mess behind me, but I just shopped for probably four, three hours. I don't like almost two things. I couldn't find anything I like, but I got this shirt from Topshop. It's actually, this doesn't really relate to Emma Chamberlain, but you know, like she shops a lot. So it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like a leather shirt and this goes around your chest. And then this, this part goes around your body. It's got like strings in the back. It's a really strappy top. It's really cute. Then I went to the Glossier store. You guys saw, I don't know why there's a lineup like for so long. Every single day. So I got there when there was no lineup, thank goodness. I think it was like 20% off. I even got some cloud paint samples. I only got two things. I got the Glossier perfume. It smells so good and apparently it's like really good. Oh my god, it's such cute packaging. It smells so good. I really want to get like a signature scent. Maybe, maybe this will be the one. And then I just got the Glossier Future Dew, which is like an oil that you can use in your face. But anyways, now I'm gonna put my pajamas on, rest in bed, and then I might have dinner plans later, but I'm not too sure yet. So I just need to rest. And that was all that I ended up filming. I had such a great time and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but I just wanna give a quick shout out to La Parc Suites. I had such a great experience. And like I said earlier in the video, the booking link will be in the description down below if you guys wanna book here in West Hollywood as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.